Hi everyone. We are going to discuss channel service unit and data service unit today. So as we know, if we have two networks which are really far away from each other, for example, in this case, we have this network and this network, they are at 14,000 kilometers far away from each other, then we need a wide area network link. And these wide area network uses services from telephone network, cable network, or that may be satellite systems. So from this point to this point, we actually uh, purchase services from somewhere. And these service providers actually can operate at different speeds or different clocking. So for example, in this case, we are here in this local area network, and this is the wide area network, which is going to provide us the services, but they operate at different speeds. It means we need someone here to help us. Uh, to, to, to deal with that clocking, or this wide area network link may have different frame format, and on this side, they may have different frame formats. So in this case, we need a middleman to do this job, to, to, do, to, do, uh, to do the job of translator, in other words. So, and uh, this wide area uh, network link is uh, mostly the, the serial link, and the CSU and DSU are actually the terminating point for this WAN link. So these are the terminating points you can see on both of the sides. And these devices, are CSU, DSU, actually provides an interface to connect LAN frames to WAN frames. So from this side, we have maybe LAN frames, and from this point and onward, we have wide area network frames. So this is actually providing us the interface, CSU and DSU. Now to connect them from WAN connectivity from this serial link, we have this RJ45 connector, which is connected with this CSU, DSU. And from this CSU, DSU to the router, we use serial connections like C.35 or RS232. So we have these kinds of cables to connect from CSU, DSU to the router. In addition, this set of devices is also known as CPE, our client premises equipment, because this is normally the responsibility of the client to arrange for these devices or to arrange for the maintenance of these uh, uh, entities. And now we have data terminal equipment, our uh, DTE, and data circuit terminating equipment, DCE. This is also known as data communication equipment. So now, as we discussed, that this, this link may operate, uh, is on, may operate at different speeds. So we need some translator. And it means we also need some clocking information from this side to this side. So a device which actually provides clocking information is known as DCE. So DCE is a device which provides clocking information. And DTE is a device which actually receives clocking information. And why do we need clocking information? We need clocking information for synchronization. And synchronization is needed. For example, these are two nodes, or two devices. When they should start transmitting, when they should start receiving, this is all dictated by this synchronization. So synchronization is very much important. And for synchronization, we need clocking. And the device which actually provides clocking is known as DCE. And the device which actually receives clocking information is known as DTE. In this case, this CSU and DSU is working as DCE. It means it has to provide the clocking information. So the clocking information. And in addition to CSU and DSU, we also have DSL modems or the cable modems. They also provide the clocking information. On other hand, this router is DTE which actually need clocking information or which actually receives clocking information. And uh, 
this can be router or this can be computer. So they don't have the clocking information. They actually receive clocking information from DCE, from this, right? In addition, we can say that DTE are the devices or the end nodes which actually use communication networks. So this communication network is actually used by computers and the routers. On the other hand, DCE is actually going to facilitate the communication. So whatever has been received at this side, they have to send that data or that information to the other side. So they are going to facilitate the communication. And DTE are actually using that communication network. So in addition, CSU and DSU can be integrated into the router. And nowadays this is common to integrate the CSU, DSU in the serial interface hardware of the router. So what we do, we combine this CSU, DSU and router. In the router, they are integrated. And now you can see that CSU, DSU has been integrated into the router's serial interface hardware. So this is possible, and nowadays this is common to integrate the CSU, DSU. So we can have CSU, DSU as a separate entity, and we can also have CSU, DSU embedded somewhere in this uh, router. So uh, this was the uh, end for today, and uh, yeah. I hope I was able to clarify some of the points and uh, thank you. Thank you very much for your time.